just crossed over into the twilight zone. You are now traveling to another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of fuckery so insane that the human mind can hardly comprehend it. Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> hey, yo, it's your boy CJ, and we back at it like a crack addict with a bad habit. And like I said, I was going to do part two, and I'm a man of my word. This is part two right now. And man, I found something else about Bam that I did not want to see, but unfortunately, I seen. And I just want to bring that up right now. Man, I'm so disappointed. In Bam, my word, I, I was a really big fan of Bam, and now it's starting um, not be so much. I'm after seeing so much stuff. Like, look at this. What? Let me show you something. If you haven't seen this, meet one of the jackasses. The other night, he kicked down my bedroom door, grabbed my friend inappropriately, and called me. And you can see him passed out, all drunk, right there. That's not a good scene at all. And you're starting to become Don Vito. Didn't Don Vito touch somebody inappropriately? And didn't he get charged for sexual assault? Like, man, don't be like him, dog. Like, I know you look up to Don Vito and stuff, but this is too much. You got to stop getting trashed. Because, man, you're on r slash trashy on a Reddit page right now. Come on, man. You... You got a kid, you got a wife that cares about you from what it looks like. I don't know how your relationship is, but it seems like she cares about you. And so you're just throwing this down the drain, bro. What are you doing? And you know what? It makes sense why the jackass guys don't want you in your vo in the <coughs> in their movie. If you're acting like this, no one wants you around, bro. Uh, it's so disappointing. But let's get into part two of Bam Margera versus Chef Tremaine. The full story. Let's go. The what? kindergarten math is, is that Knoxville had an action point movie, but it's a $19 million budget that flopped big time. And yeah, but that's not Johnny's fault. Some movies flop. Some movies do good. Like... Don't be picking on them because of that. In South Africa, they had to fly the whole dolly guy, the grip guy, the fucking filmer guy, everybody in hotels, and it was a fucking flop. So he has to pay Paramount back. Well, what does that mean? Well, Bam makes $5 million on each movie. If I cancel him out, then... That's five million more that I don't... Sorry, that's not what it looks like. It, this, he could be telling the truth for all I know, but it just doesn't look like that, Bam. Man, you're on r slash trash on our Reddit page, dude. That's the reason why they don't want you there, from what it seems like. Honest. Yo, look at my, look at my dude. Look at my boy. Sorry, he's right there. Look at him. He's got a gun. Baby Yoda got a gun. <laughs> It doesn't take a science rocket to figure this out. They know. It's actually rocket scientists, but no fuck. E equals MZ squared. You just forgot transitions, Einstein. What the? Damn, bro. You got the whole squad laughing. A Was that supposed to be a funny joke, Bam? Come on. Bam. Oh, fuck Jeff. Yeah, fuck Jeff. What, Jeff Tremaine? Yeah, fuck him. Wow, he got a tattoo. You are petty, Bam. That is so petty. I got that a that long time ago. It's a gorilla fucking a kitty cat. <laughs> Not a gorilla. It's a bear. A bear. He forgets his tattoo. It's a bear. That's how stoned he is right now. Nice. He doesn't even remember what is on his leg. Fuck Jeff. Jeff. Tell him who Jeff Tremaine is. Jeff Tremaine is the director of Jackass who basically says get hurt and action. And then he... Yes, bam. That is a part of your 
You're acting like a little bitch. I'm sorry to say. You're in a jackass film. You're supposed to be stuntmen, as you say. And, like, come on. Come on. He keeps all the fucking money. Oh, he's richer than, the, than you. It says we all f effed our bodies and bones for Jeff. No, you did that for you to get your money for your five mil, right, Bam? Like you just said, for your five mil, that's what you got for screwing over your body and bones. Like, don't blame this on Jeff. You could say, no, I don't want to do this. It's simple. Yes, he's going to pressure you on doing it because you guys are all friends. But, man, you're just bitching about it now because you're kicked out. That's all. You guys? Well, when you own a place called Dick House, it's filled with a bunch of dickheads. Oh. He's made this joke, what, two times now on camera? Okay. I remember the logo, it was a chicken. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you know, I get paid, I so get paid. People. I get paid to travel the world. Wait a minute. Who are you? That's my job. Okay, no one cares what you do, bro. I get paid to travel the world. You should travel the world with me. You know how much you want to get paid? See? Oh my goodness. I told you. This guy's so... I knew he was rich. And he's trying to get Bam on his side. I want to pay you two grand to beat me in a capital contest of countries. All right. What's this? What, what am I witnessing? Hey, Tutorial you lube so it'll sting the hemorrhoid on your asshole. Because you're being one. I bought you a butt plug, but it's for your mouth so you can stop your shit talk. <laughs> you just whip that at her face, I'm pretty sure. Like, dog. And, like, this is embarrassing, kind of. And. I bought you this awesome big rubber dick so you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> so you wasted all your money on that? It's not a... Come on. She looks pissed. Waste? Oh, no. Big time is a waste. Um, Because you should have got me... No, this is going to be fun to watch. Where's my wand? It's a major, major turn on. Okay, where's my wand? And that is too big. Well... That's not going to even fit. You deserve to feel the pain. That's not going to happen. You said some mean... Man, this is supposed to be, she doesn't want this on camera. Words Where's to my me. wand? I want you to hurt as much as my feelings do with your mean words. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, have you ever been fucked by a girl? Well, if you have, type it and tell me all about it because I forget to know because she's so attached to the hip to Phoenix that I become a two-pump chump. And then the last time I went, uh-uh-uh, and I was done. And then she goes, I took my tampon out for that. Yeah, Bam, you suck at sex. That's not her fault. <laughs> that means we fuck. Huh? When I have to take out my tampon? That yeah, every fun. 10 days if I'm lucky. Why don't you shower more often? Woo! <laughs> Get him. Get him. Bam, you're a smelly little prick. Yo, I'm sorry. Yo, lots of you are fans of Bam. And I'm a fan of Bam too. But this just makes me mad. Like, why would you treat your fiance, wife like this? Why would you treat your friends like this? Like, bro, I'm so confused what Bam's trying to do. It seems like Bam's just trying to ruin his life. And his integrity. His respect for people. He's losing fans by the day. Days of unlucky. Ah. Well, because I'm too busy, and then I get yelled at for being too busy. That I get a shower, and then I'll get yelled at for that. Can I win? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? You want me to shine your shoes? I can do a tap dance for you. Want to talk shit on me? Want me to do a tap dance? You want to talk shit on me? Look at that little clown dancing. Bam, come on. I think he's trying to be cute right now with her, but she's not having it, dude. Okay. Brush your teeth and take a shower. Ah! Yeah. But she doesn't. Yeah. So if you it doesn't look like it. You get laid a lot more. What about mouthwash? Doesn't count. You need to wash your mouth out with soap. Sorry guys, if it looks like I'm like looking down and shit, 
It's because I'm looking at the screen. I hate when it does that. And I get, I drift off in space while watching it and I look like a fucking downy. <laughs> Let's go. Your hygiene sucks, so you're disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I said hi to Gene today. He's my lawyer. I said hi to Gene today. He's, oh my goodness. That was kind of funny. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. <laughs> Whatever, I have business to take care of, so just leave me alone. Yeah, and you're having credit card fraud. You know what? When you make a girl laugh, that's when you're off the hook. That is when you're off the hook. She was pissed. But it's like, you know what? Hi to Jean. Okay, wordplay got to her. Let's go. I like when a girl likes her wordplay. Let's go. Fraud problems? Well, the good thing about me is that I know the number to 911. You just call the operator and she'll tell you the number. Where's my phone? It's got to be 1-800-POLICE or something like that. It's not good. I can figure out the number. Yo, he literally has a tattoo, and it says Dr. Phil. Look at that. I did not know that. It says Dr. Phil. Why would you get Dr. Phil on your neck? Dr. Phil is a fake doctor, by the way. And he's an idiot who sends kids off to camps where they get abused. Number to 911, you just call the operator. You do understand me. that this is not going to fit. Cause I'll shove it in Bam shove it in Bam's mouth or his little bum hole. He likes stuff getting shoved up his bum hole, so he might take it. Okay, oh you teasing me. Oh you naughty naughty. You know what girl? He just pretended he bought that for you. He really bought that for himself. I want it to hurt as much as my feelings do. I'm in that See he was trying to be cute. Bam was trying to be at least he ended it off trying to be cute instead of being an asshole, but he was on camera, so who knows what he would have actually done off camera. That's when I decided to propose to her. I'm like, I'm going to propose to you in a hostel in Berlin. Fuck yeah. After we just stayed in a $10,000 per night house in Gstad, yeah. Switzerland. He's like slurring. You could, uh, the, he. Now we're in a hostel and I had more fun at the fucking hostel talking to these local travelers trying to go places. Like, I liked it better there. Nobody's reacting in the crowd. When you're at this rich ass joint and I ask where the bathroom is, they, they can't just tell you it's there. Yeah. They have to show you their diamond Rolex and they go, it's right over, <laughs> it's right over there. As he's wearing like jewel, not jewels, but as he was wearing fucking every, every finger has a ring. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he probably has a fucking watch on his wrist. You can't really talk, Bam. You flex as well. It was one of the most important books of my life, Professional Idiot by Stevo. Yeah. I read it in 2013. I'm like, this guy is a genius. Yo, shout out to Steve Stevo. Stevo is the best person out of Jackass. My word, he's kept up with his fans. He's still doing stunts. He's not bitching about doing stunts. Like, bro, Stevo's the man. Yeah, I, he's a genius. Like, man, he, you know he was born in Brazil. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I swear. I thought he was born in London. No, he grew up in uh, like from like ages I one to it, seven. His dad, his dad all over yeah, his place. dad was an executive. You can tell Bam really does like Stevo because lots of people when they talk about other people in their interview, they'll get off the topic or they'll make fun of the person that they're talking about. But he's really getting into the discussion about Steve-O. You, so you can, sell, you can tell Bam has respect for Steve-O. And I don't know if it's because he has clout on his side or if they are actually just friends. I don't know. By Pepsi. He was very rich. You're right. Yeah, yeah. And then he, his dad was sent to Brazil and he was he grew up in Brazil. Do you think he no, because he wasn't this, at six years old. He wasn't fucking anybody at six years old. <laughs> the guy's like, I don't think so, bro. Like, come on, bam. You never know, hey, Steve. -o. People adore traveco, cara. Do you like trannies? Uh, hey. Oh, is, is he calling him about, about trannies? Don't people say that his wife's a tranny? What's that about? She doesn't look like a tranny to me. There are women or men, whatever, that change their sexuality, and you cannot tell, and it's kind of scary, but it's, this guy's calling Bam out right now. I'm just mesmerizing him because you showed me the prettiest chick I've ever seen. And he has a dick. And then he Bam, you're exposing yourself.
you turn her around and she has a meat bat. Hell yeah! Like, Fuck, what would I do? Hell yeah! What would I do on a drunken Monday? I would run. I would Yo, he's excited, Bam. Okay, Bam. I would run. I would run away. I I'm sure you would hit it. I would run. Well, if you give me a shot at tequila, I can suck a mean dick. <laughs> what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Oh my goodness. I'm just going to skip. Yeah, we're going to go over that part. I'm not going to say anything about that. Shut the... <laughs> You're not 100% straight. You're not 100% straight. Oh my goodness. You could tell with his eyes and stuff. Oh! Yo, nice one, bam. Yo, didn't Steve-O do stuff on tables? You're, steal you're stealing Steve-O's kind of... Oh, oh, they're in Steve-O's... Uh, Tight packaging thing. Okay, good. Never mind. Oh, yeah, bam. That was sick. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Out of, oh, that's what I like seeing, guys. People having fun. Bam, you got to just keep on doing this, bro. I love seeing this. Fuck yeah, boy. Now we're back with his craziness. What do you like? This is scribble shit. This is chicken scratch, dude. I see your heart heartogram. I like the heartogram. Don't get me wrong. That's cool. I do like the heartogram. It looks cool. <coughs> what does it say? Pause. Laskin Sturagio translation. Johnny Knoxville is a piece of shit. I see through you. F U F U is a secret code. Only for the Illuminati and Freemasons. Your fifteen million dollar action point flop can't get linked to me. You should be ashamed of all that. I could start with that, but it takes a whole book for this. What? What the fuck? Bam, bam, bam. You're making yourself look like the biggest fool. Like, all that writing. Like, I don't even know how to explain what I'm going to say. But this is just, you're out of control. And not in a good way, dude. Like, like I went through depression, so did you. And a lot of people who are watching with us went through depression. Yes. Same. How, what what can you share to these people of like how do you how to overcome it? Awesome, awesome. Let's hear it. I want to hear Bam give good good advice. Well, I overcame the way I fucking... got depressed was um, somebody making a batshit contract saying I had to breathe into a silver link. Oh my goodness! Now he's just gonna be bitching about jackass for three times a day all through COVID for a year straight. For no fucking reason. And then my thing would go off, beep, 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 in the middle of this interview. And I'd say, sorry for your interview. I know you came from Brazil, but I got to go piss in urgent care because Paramount says so. Oh, my God. Who the hell cares? So I go piss if, he, if it became hot. Why, do, why do you trouble. depend on Paramount? Why don't you do your own shit? Because there's $5 million at stake for my fucking son. And if you're going to fuck with me like that, I'm going to obey your dumb rules and pay the fucking price of all the doctors, therapists, rehab, blah, 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 no, blah, blah. Now they fucked you over it. Why don't you create, like, the bam ass? But, like, instead but, of jackass, you create bam ass by yourself, I can't and you keep all that money. With Paramount's $10 million budget. I need to... He's got a point there. He's got a point. It's like music. Like, having a label, that label pushes you out, and everybody knows... What artist you are, the, the labels will get you into uh, radio, right, playlists. And Paramount will get you into theaters. They'll get you into, like, Netflix, maybe. And so he does have a point there. I need them to give me the same amount. No. But, but I'm not giving him an excuse. If you didn't fuck around and take that Adderall, or I'm afraid there's other reasons why you're kicked out of Jackass. You're not saying the tr whole stuff. You're not saying the whole situation, I don't think. But if it is just the one Adderall, you shouldn't have took it. That's your fault. 
beat them. He, he, but Jeff needs to know that people kill for a whole lot less. You fucking asshole. Now he's threatening him, pretty much. Oh, Knoxville. Spike, I like. Shauna, I yeah, love. But, like... You're burning bridges here. Like, I am gonna burn it the fuck. Yeah, see, this guy, even the interview is a little bit more smarter than man. And that's saying something. Down. I never want to see their fucking fat. Green oh, you never go back to Jackass. I never want to see Jeff Tremaine or Knoxville. You're screwing yourself over for this opportunity, again. man. They tried to kill me. I don't want that. You're the hey. devil. Hey. Um, you're the like. What are you trying to do? I don't get that. But how did you try killing yourself? You didn't have to do the jackass stunts, or are you saying they put a hit on you? What are you trying to say, Bam? And is it bad that I kind of? Nah, I mean, that Bam's gonna do a Bam. Yo, can I tell you funny? Can I tell you something funny? This was my cameo. Isn't that fucking jokes? I was so happy. What's gonna do, and Bam's. And I gave what's his name. He gave I gave him permission. Like he's cool. Is his name Ian? I'm sorry, I forget your name. I'm s no. What the fuck just happened? Yes, I never want to see Jeff Tremaine or Knoxville's face ever again. They tried to kill me. I don't want. Yeah, shoutouts to Ian. Hey, mm. hey. Um, and is it bad that I kind of? I mean, that Bam's going to do what Bam's going to do. And Bam's, you know, in a place right now that I don't think is very conducive to his health and wellness. It's and, not. And I hope Bam figures it out. Um, I love him and I'll, I'll be here for him. But I Yo, Novak's a G. Shout out to Novak. Yo, I, I was buying cameos off him. And yo, me and him became a, like, we have a good relationship right now. We talk on Instagram when he can. And he's just an awesome dude. I had to create some boundaries because I don't, like, I, I, I will not high-five him to his grave. I will not condone behaviors that I don't believe are conducive. That's what I'm doing right now. I don't want to become a fan of Bam and whatever he's doing right now. Be like, oh, awesome, dude. Gnarly. Blah. No, bro, you got to get yourself back together, Bam. Like, I want to see Bam in the new Jackass 4. He deserves to be there. But the way he, he doesn't, he doesn't deserve it now. But what, five months ago, he was doing so good for himself. But now he's just reversing himself. And look at this picture. You can't tell me he's drunk. He's leaning over a girl right there, trapped the girl. And this other guy's, I think, feeling up his leg to either see if he has money or trying to get him off of the girl. I don't know. But look at that shit. He's drunk. Xanax, I don't know. So not even a fucking recovery, but just to, to, to health and wellness and happiness, man. Straight up. You know? So shout out to Novak. And I'm praying for him. CJ Holiday, I always look forward to seeing you, talking to you, and spending some time with you. So until then, my friend, God bless. Right now, now, now. I've seen this before. Look how off he is. He misses the guy completely. And I don't know if he hates the guy, but he just starts swinging on him. I've never seen that in Jackass. I maybe seen them kick each other in the nuts or something, but this guy starts punching the guy in the face. <laughs> like that was wor that was pointless. Pointless. Uh, Ryan, uh, Ryan, Ryan Dunn. You love Ryan Dunn. Yeah, and wasn't this best movie friend. supposed to be a reunion for him? Well, now, this is the saddest thing. Do you think Ryan Dunn wants to see you like this, Bam? No, he doesn't. He wants to see you do so much better. Like, this, this is the saddest fucking thing. You and him were best friends. And if he were to see you like this, he would either try to help you or he wouldn't want to be near you. That's just a fact. And I hate to say that, dude. Well, what the That's your best friend, this, Jeff. Because Ryan Dunn is rolling around in his grave. How do I know? Because he's right fucking here, you idiot. You tattooed right close to your heart. Yeah, because I've known him since I was 10. 
Wow. You guys known him since you were fuck you. That's how old you were. Yeah. Oh my goodness, this is so sad. I'm just looking now. I'm looking down because I don't want to. I'm because you can hear it in Bam's voice how sad he is still. Pussy. Yeah. So like, yeah. Let's forget about Jackass and create your own thing, man. What are you doing? Fuck you. I'm not. I don't need to uh, impress anybody anymore. So, I yes. want to impress my son. I want to teach him how to fish. Okay, there we go. You don't need to do stupid shit anymore. You are a lingerie designer now. I'm just not goofy anymore. Right. Like, like people those evolve. Dude. A lingerie designer? Okay. I don't know what that is, but. Yo, did you see Bam's merch? It's $128 a sweater. And it's printed on. It's not even embroidered or anything. It's, oh, I, w I was going to buy one. But I'm like, bro, this is $180 and like, like tax included. And I'm like, bro, it's printed on. Like, it's not even embroidered. Dude. You can do goofy. I'm People goofy. evolve. If Danny Way... Did the highest air on a Guinness book? Yeah, but you're not Danny Way, Bam. You're supposed to be doing... you got to take after Steve-O. Steve-O's doing such a good job right now. A record wearing a fucking tutu and a fucking spandex outfit with an ice skate on it and a wig on. I'd be like, what are you doing, Danny? You're not goofy. You're the fucking man. You're the fucking profession. But Bam, you're not the man. You're the man that does all that stuff. You're the man that puts stuff up your ass. You're the one who flew a kite out your ass. Like, I don't know who you think you are now. I'm sorry, but you're that guy, and I, I love you for that. I don't know why you want to be somebody different. You're trying to... Mm. Is, he, is he on the Guinness Book? Yeah, but, but like, that's what jackasses do. It's not professional. Danny Way is professional. Right. Jackass is the least professional thing. That's why it's funny. Because we all don't know what we're doing. I medium. That's not true. Steve O was a circus act, and he actually does know some stuff. You know what I'm doing? Because I was a professional skateboarder, so I know how to fall. Shut up. There's so much more into being a stuntman than skateboarding. I'm sorry. Knoxville is a definition of not Clumsy, yeah. professional. He is brave and handsome going for him. That's why he's the main guy who let Ego go to his head to where when we go to hotels, when we're filming... Wow. Movie, Ego, okay. Miami. Right. He's going to stay at the bungalow so Kate Moss can meet him. And we have to stay at some shit fucking hole. And I'm like, I have more money than all y'all at this moment. I'm staying in my own fucking bungalow. Fuck you guys. Dear Nikki, I've come to realize that you are right and I am wrong. What you say is true. Your Hallmark card. Mm. What you say is true. What I say is false. I'm not attractive. You are very good looking. I am dumb. You are smart. I am only good at being a smart ass and love your top munch butt. Something about her butt. I don't know what that says. She read aloud. I'm on the phone with. I'm on the phone with um, Airbnb. Dear Nikki, I come to realize that you are right and I'm wrong. Wow, I'm so dumb. She's gonna read it. Um, what you say is true and what I say is false. I am not attractive. You are very good looking. I am dumb. You are smart. I am only good at being a smart ass and love your top notch butt. I love you 99%. I'm too stubborn to let the 1% go. Mm, yeah. <laughs> She's like, I don't give a fuck. Anybody could write that. <laughs> Did I win you back? Yeah. That was easy.
That was really easy. Trying to like, you know, to be uh, responsible here. She puts up with so much shit, dude. So why do you have more money than all of you? Because you manage it better. Because because of you have family who. Because he was selling more skateboards than Tony Hawk at one point. Sheesh. Who educated yes. you? But when Jackass happened, I already had Bam Dex out on element. element. I had Bam belts, Bam wallets, Bam watch, watches, Bam wristbands. Bam shoes, Tony Hawk Pro Skater, Bam eyeglasses, which I made a shit ton off of. Um, you saw the CKY wear, videos, uh, yeah. CKY videos, uh, five of them, uh, made a million dollars on it. So I, I'm sitting there at the age of 23 with about 20 million dollars or more. What? Yeah, and 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 I'm just spending it like it's goddamn running out of style. You know, I believe him. He might have 15 or 10 mil, whatever, but. Close enough. Whatever. We'll give him the 20 mil. That's crazy, dude. My dad knows that if I want something, I want it. And and he'll tell me when I can't get it. But is what he does is he just fucks with the paperwork so much because he has nothing better to do than to listen, listen to Elvis, eat his cheesesteak and take hoses, care of your... And go like this with the money all day. I'm going to put 20 grand over here. I'm going to put 200 grand over there. I'm going to put a million. You're so lucky you have your dad, Bam. Oh, my goodness. Now I know how you managed your money so well. Because he had your, yo, Phil is a G. Shout outs to April and Phil. They're freaking awesome. In here. I'm going to put a million there. I'm going to put 500 here. I'm going to put 500 there. And you trust so when, when tax time comes... They're gonna be like, this is just fucking too much bonk of shit. I don't have time for this. Like, what did you buy? Well, I bought a camera for 500 bucks. And I bought some film for 50 bucks. All right, well, your taxes is this. When they see somebody moving money nonstop everywhere, they just give up. Phil's yeah. the man. Wait, what is he trying to say? I'm so confused. And if he wants to rip me off, you can rip me the fuck off, Phil, because if all you want is Elvis memorabilia and hoagies and cheesesteaks, rock and roll. You, you, you look very thankful cake. to, uh, usually people who are successful, they're like, oh, my parents. You look very thankful for Phil and April. They're, Phil is the greatest. My mom is the, they're both the greatest. Okay, good. At least you gave them some respect on them because at one point you're treating them like shit, man, but... I think it's a little bit different now, which is dope. 50-50. I'm like, yeah. And then it comes my brother. Then it comes Nikki. Then it comes... No, it comes Danny Way and then the Shaman. I'm all fucked up. I like the Shaman first and then Danny Way. Then Nikki. Then Phoenix. No, I like Phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck with it. Yeah, man. You weren't fucking with him, Bam. Why? You should like your son the most. Then your wife, or your wife, then your son, whatever. But, like, come on, dude. That wasn't, you weren't joking. You got a hard on for that shaman or whatever you're talking about. What are you doing? Are you burning crosses or something with this shaman? Like, every time he mentions a shaman, I'm like, I get a weird tingle. Like, it's something that I don't like that word. A shaman. Hey. <laughs> Oh my, I can't believe my ears. Alright guys, yeah, that was the end. I really like this. Ian did a really good job at collecting the videos and putting them together. I don't know how good they are together, but it was an awesome way to present it. Uh, it's, he did a really good job. Good, shout out to Ian Ellis LLC. <laughs> My homie, thank you for letting me react to these videos. It means a lot. But, man, honestly, just the one thing I want to get across to everybody, I want Bam to do better. I'm a fan of Bam. Bam, like, I look up to Bam. Straight up, Bam is the man. And so when I'm getting pissed off with them and kind of making fun of them, it's from my heart. It's not because I hate the guy. It's because I'm a huge fan. 
And I don't want to see him like this. It ruins my nostalgia because all I did when I was a kid was watch skateboarding, Viva La Bam, especially Viva La Bam and Jackass. I was, like I said, I didn't watch too much CKY. I just hope he, I just hope he just gets shit together because his family and everybody around him deserves better. And he deserves better too, but he's just screwing himself over at this point. Like, he's making enemies, talking shit on Johnny Knoxville. He's getting drunk and breaking into people's houses and touching their friends inappropriately. Like, that's that's effed up, dude. Like, what the... But guys, I just let's just pray he gets better. And yeah, enough of me. I'm a dip. Peace out.